hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to get into this long extended 30 inch down to my ass braided ponytail y'all this ponytail is so cute so if you want to know how i've got this easy little messy braid ponytail then just keep on watching now i am going to start off with my hair in a ponytail i am natural but i did blow dry my hair out my hair is also has been in a ponytail for a while um like this past week so it is blow dried out that makes the ponytail so much easier and it makes my hair able to blend better because my hair is naturally curly so it is blow dried out so i'm taking the hair you could take that rubber band off and I'm taking a scrunchie and I'm just going to tie it in a knot. Just really watch what I'm doing. It's kind of hard to explain it, but you just, if you just watch, it's easier. And I just pull it through. You're basically just tying it over and then pulling it through. And make sure that it's tight take the rubber band off and a mistake that I made was this is my second time doing this ponytail but keep your hair tied up because when you're braiding it and putting on the ponytail it is gonna mess up your edges but you see I'm how I'm tying on my ponytail the hair is at the front of my head make sure the hair is at the front of your head so that way when you turn around when I flip it over the hair is on top and I was pretty so this is how it looks once it's on my head I was pretty lazy I was tired <laughs> like I know my arms are gonna be so buff after this because I was literally resting look at me arm just I'm tired boss like literally so here I go again I'm going to braid it make sure that your um, ponytail. I'm going to put a scrunchie, like a cute little scrunchie. You're going to see it later. So you're not even going to be able to see like where the ponytail hair is and where my um, where my scrunchie is that's on my actual hair, my real hair. So that's not going to matter. But you can pull it down. You see I tried to pull it down. I'm going to insert clips of the type of hair that I use. I actually use two types of hair because this is leftover braiding hair that I've been having. I get my hair in braids every summer and I just had this hair, both these ha this hair like laying around and I always knew that I wanted to do a braided ponytail after I took my wig down and so it's two different types of hair, but I would just recommend that you get one type because we had like ran out of braid in here and then we got a different kind of tied it up with two types. And so get pre-stretched 30 inch hair. That is how my braid got so long. And I use this hair. This hair that I'm starting out with is not pre-stretched. So, and I actually wanted it to be like that because I wanted the top of my hair to be like fuller and like thicker. So I didn't, pre-stretch hair is thinner. So, I mean, you but you could definitely get away with using only the pre-stretch hair. But I wanted mine to like mimic how a real hair is, which your ponytail is thicker and fuller at the top and it gets like thinner at the towards the bottom so I use this type of hair just regular braiding hair at the top and then I went in with the pre-stretched hair when I added in here you're gonna see as I braid it down also I didn't want this to be like a perfect braid I wanted it to be more like a messy braid like a just a long messy Pocahontas Indian braid like long just not uniform you can braid it more neat if you want but I didn't mind you know of course if you're a better braider it's gonna turn out better but I didn't mind like hair like sticking out because I just wanted it to be like effortless like a real like natural braid 
Yeah, I don't know how natural I can look with a 30 inch braid down, down my butt, down to my knees. But you get what I'm saying, like real just cute and real effortless. And it's actually really easy. The first time I tried to film this video was the day that Kobe Bryant and Gigi passed away. And I was literally, I was like out of it. Like the video was terrible. Like I could just see it in my face that I was just like not with it. Like I, the video, I could not post it. So I wore my yellow jacket in honor of Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace Kobe Bryant and Gigi Bryant. It's really so heartbreaking, but that was the whole deal with me filming this video twice. But the braid actually came out way better the second time than the first time because I, you know, really got the drift of adding getting the hair. Here's where I'm adding in the hair. To add in the hair, you just wear whichever strand of hair is shorter, then that's where you take the hair and you wrap it again. You wrap it onto the shorter, the shorter length hair and the hair next to it, and you literally just uniform the braid in. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's easier to watch. Like, you see? This piece is short, so I take it, place it around it, next to the one in my other hand, and then I just add it in the braid. Watching it, you might have to rewind it a couple of times if you're not good at adding hair and braids. I'm not. This is actually my first time when I started doing this braided ponytail, adding in more hair. but. The more you do it, of course, the easier it'll get. You might just have to rewind it a few times, but you will definitely get it because I'm not a braider at all. I only know how to braid like this. I can braid to the scalp, but I was still able to pull this ponytail off. I watched Arnell on YouTube and she, her video was very helpful. And it was also like a couple of videos of girls who, like were very helpful with the braided ponytail ponytails are a real big trend right now like ponytails are in everybody is wearing a ponytail of some sort because they are just so cute i love ponytails so to make this look so like cute and like a little like 90s vibe i added this little scrunchie to my ponytail and i got this from the beauty supply house as well and it's a really cute like velvety scrunchie and I just added that onto my ponytail to make it just cute er and boom this is how it looks I'm just fixing it here Now, you, of course, you can just stop there and that'd be the end of your braid. But if you really want to pop your shit, you can add these cute little hairpins to your braid, which, of course, I'm extra as fuck. But I wanted to add these cute little pins because hairpins are also very trendy. Everybody loves and is wearing hairpins. And they look so cute on ponytails and on braided ponytails. So I added my little pins, hair pins, onto this braid. And you can add more or you can add less. I got my hair pins from Amazon, but they are also sold at the beauty supply house. Like they're so trendy. The ones with the words on them, they definitely have those at the beauty supply house. And I've seen some really cute ones, but this is really just how the ponytail turned out. The braided ponytail, I think it is really so cute. I did go in and add free spray, some hairspray to my ponytail just to give it a nice little hold. I absolutely love how this braided ponytail turned out. I'm so, so in love. It looks so cute. I love everything about it. It's so long 
and so like pretty and effortless and like 90s vibe with the baby hairs and that's really it so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial let me see y'all braided ponytails and follow me on instagram at lemonade jade and subscribe to my channel like this video if you thought this braided ponytail was popping and you about to have your ponytail down to your knees like this ponytail was i loved how long it was so that 30 inch pre-stretched hair yeah it will have the ponytail very long so you don't even need to add in that much hair and yeah so let me see y'all braided ponytails let me see y'all pop y'all shit and subscribe to my channel like this video leave me some comments leave me some comments in the comment section if you like this video subscribe tell everybody to subscribe show everybody my videos let's get me to 100 subscribers so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye